Here we go. The road to Liverpool versus AC Milan starts right here. Cannot wait to get over there back to Anfield for the big game against AC Milan. Gonna be absolute quality. See you on the other side. Let's do this, Red Men. Welcome back to the Upper Tier Podcast. This is the Shanky Sessions. This is your Liverpool versus AC Milan Champions League match preview. On board the Swift, heading to Hollyhead, then straight up to Chester and across to Liverpool. Can't wait to get there. It's been such a long time since we've been at these matches. Was talking to a lot of fans today, absolutely stoked for the game. The excitement is unbelievable in the build up to this match. It's going to be an absolute blast. Let's get into this. Some history between both these clubs. Two Champions League finals. One arguably we should have won that we didn't. And one arguably that we've no right to win that we did. But absolutely brilliant in terms of the history. The build up the game has been fantastic. Nothing better than the excitement underneath the lights at Anfield on a Wednesday evening for a huge Champions League toy. Unbelievable group that we've been drawn in with Porto and Atletico Madrid. AC Milan fourth in the group, can't believe it. The great AC Milan fourth pick in the group. Let's get into this. Jurgen Klopp absolutely stoked for this game, the excitement of it. The fans are going to be electric. Let's talk about the lineups. I don't see too many changes in the Liverpool lineup, although I was reading today that potentially Kanate might be in the side. Could we see Big Abraham in the side for this game? Be unbelievable to see that man beside Virgil van Dijk. Obviously, we know Slatan is out of the game, picked up an ankle injury in that great win over Lazio at the weekend. Um, for ourselves, obviously, Harvey is out, but the question is will Klopp bring the changes? Will Keita be the man in the midfield to unlock the Madrid side? Will Divock Origi be on the bench? Who knows what's going to happen here? We really need a striker on the bench, don't we? Just as a backup. The boys up front, Jota, Mane, and Salah, could have a field day tonight. Tomori at the back for AC Milan. What an absolute outstanding signing that they made from Chelsea. Had a fantastic season there on loan last season. And obviously, AC Milan, not the powerhouse that they've been in the past, but have been steadily improving under Pioli. Um, they really have the ability now to really you know, push on from last season where they had a really, really good season but just fell off towards the end. Um, not too sure what to look at. I mean, the key battles there, I mean, for AC Milan, Kessie in the middle of the field. He's an absolute powerhouse in the way he runs and stuff like that. But with Fabinho in there with Thiago, potentially Jordan Henderson, um, I think they'll have more than enough to control this guy. Other than that, Tanoli is an absolutely fantastic player for them. He's a big point game player. Um, but let's see how this goes. It, it's an interesting toy up there. I think Giroud might play up front. We know Giroud well from his days at Chelsea and Arsenal. He's a man for a big occasion, no doubt about it. Always likes a goal in these big games. But I think um, Van Dijk and I think Matip will have more than enough to control him in the game. Outstanding. Can't wait to get over there. Just so excited. Everyone's queuing up now. We're on the Swift here. They're queuing up now, getting their breakfast jerseys everywhere. The excitement of football, being back and being able to travel again. To getting out of prison or something like that you know it's like we've been locked up for the last two years last game we were over for was the everton game in january where we beat everton and um, prior to the lockdown and um, that kicked in sort of february march time so it's been a long long time coming getting over to this game but just cannot wait to get over there feel the crowd feel the buzz around Anfield, hit up the park and the albert and all watch the bus coming in all that kind of stuff such a brilliant trip love going on these trips Dylan and Ben are here with me as well guys that you'd recognise from the junior side of the upper tier and stuff like that so they're up there of course they're normally first in the queue for the breakfast the two boys um, I'll, wake my I'll take my time because I want to shoot some footage and stuff like that prediction for the game I think a 3-1 uh, I think get us off to a real good solid start top the group hopefully by the end of the evening um, and, and push on then to Crystal Palace then on Saturday and then Norwich next week. The games are going to come thick and fast. He's going to need to rotate the squad. But the question at the moment is, will he rotate the squad tonight for such a big European toy? Until next time, head over to YouTube, Dynamo Podcast Network, always for video versions show. We'll be on Anchor through Spotify, Podbean, iTunes for the audio versions of the show. And if you'd like to contact us, at Session Shankly on Twitter. And you can hit us up on Facebook and Instagram, the upper tier here. I will see you on the other side. We're about to leave the port here now. So catch you. Next stop is Liverpool. Come on, you red men. Let's do this.
nowhere to stay. I think it's just going to do it later. I think it's going to be important. I think it's going to be important. I think it's going to be Thanks, Allah. 